Well, in the previous video, we actually teach you the skill to look through a glass blot to correctly find the image of the pin. So right now, we're going to teach you another skill that is to look through water and find a refractive index. This is one of the most challenging paper of the entire 10 years, I think. So sit back, watch and learn. Okay, so this is the 2012 paper. It's one of the most challenging paper in terms of light. So this is the setup, right? So the purpose is to find the real depth and apparent depth. So the variable, the concept that is involved is actually a reflective index. So this is a diagram. This is the actual setup. So you see over here, you have your beaker, water inside. Inside the water, there is actually a pin, which we stick it down through a blue tag so it's easier for this shoot. Then we have the optical pin connected to a restart stand so this one can move up and down all right okay so before we continue let's try to understand the concept first so first of all uh, this pin over here this is the apparent that this is the this is actually the real depth so how do we know where should be the position of this pin this is where they introduce this concept where you move our head and then you check a position of no parallax between the pins so let me just explain this to you so later on we are going to have uh, a beaker with water with the pin inside you can see like that right then the optical pin is outside right so i'm going to represent this in a diagram so first of all you have beaker so top view so you have the pin inside right then you have the pin outside your first task is you should this should be in one straight line like this so it cannot be like this all right see one straight line like this okay all right so the one straight line from our top view doesn't mean that they are at the same height it's like like this see so my marker and my pin is not at the same height but from the top view i can align it into a one straight line so this is what i want you to check okay so as we move our head forward and backward later you are going to see that this might happen you have a misalignment misalignment right when you see straight down it's like this then when you move it may have this so this is what they meant by the position of the cock being too high or position of the cock being too low okay so let me just quickly show it to you over here so now we have our optical pin outside right at the bottom same as uh, our pin inside the water so first we check that they are both one line first so you see here like that is like one line right so we're gonna move move our eyes forward and backward okay so you see what happens you see that the pin inside the water is now lower okay so pin inside when you move head forward lower so it's cocked too low and which we know is too low already because optical pin is right at the bottom so now we're going to shift the pin right to the same level as the water level so we're going to create a scenario which is you have your cock being too high and then i will show you how it looks like all right okay so first thing is we make sure that they are in one straight line again so this one straight line okay so if i move up ah so now you see it the line breaks let me show you with the stick so when i move up you will see that the pin inside is actually higher than the pin outside right so this is what we have the scenario being caught too high okay so this is actually uh, problem of trial and error let me explain to you so this is our water level then you have your pin we are supposed to locate the correct position of this pin we, you don't know what is this right you don't know what is this you're supposed to adjust your pin until we achieve a position of so-called no parallax so just now we have already tried we started with the bottom which we know is too low then we move it up 
to the same level as the water, then you know that it's too high. So then where do you move the, the pin? So if ever such a question come up, how do you go about to find your reading? So remember something, remember if uh, you play the game like a number guessing game with your friends, if I'm thinking of a number between 1 to 10, just guess a number and I'll tell you whether is it too high or too low. What is the first number you will guess? Will you guess 2? Will you guess 9? Or will you guess 5? Most of you will guess 5 because once you guess 5, I tell you too high, too low, immediately you string your possibilities by half. But let's say if I, you guess 2, unless you're so lucky the answer is 2, right? not I will say too low, then you still have 8 possibilities. So if we know that at the bottom is too low, right at the surface is too high, then where do we want to guess? So the now we need to guess it right in the middle. So we're going to adjust the pin just to the middle of the water level. Okay, so we are going to do that. And let's see what is our answer. So make sure that it is in alignment again. Okay, so now we're going to move up to check. Okay, so you see the pin inside the water is still floating slightly above. You go, you see, you see lower. So again, we are at too high so now if at 50% point is is still too high right then where am I going to go next I'm going to go next I'm going to split this into half I'm going to go at so-called 75% mark right or 25% above the bottom okay so I'm going to do that now and let's see what happens Right, so we got, got that. So we make sure that it's the same line again. Then now we're going to check move up and down. Oh, see, what do you realize? You realize that the line don't really break that much. Okay, make sure it's the same. So you move up and down. You see the line doesn't break. Okay, so you are not going to get pinpoint accuracy for this kind of experiment. So once you get something like that, you should be happy already. You don't go like, hey, not good enough. I need to be very accurate, very accurate. So use this as a gauge. So now we know that 75% is the key. Then you can go ahead to get all your readings for the rest of the experiment. Okay, which in this case, then you get all this. Okay, I'm not sure if the same experiment will come out again, but the main skill that we want to impart here is if you ever need to do a trial and error it's important for you to have a strategy on how to guess don't just anyhow anyhow random guess split it how strategically move it closer and closer to the target so i hope this helps you well it's indeed a very challenging paper but the video has indeed helped me to understand to better navigate this kind of questions so in exam i learned one skill cut into half 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 if you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. So don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss out on any fantastic videos that we are doing, okay?